Hello everyone, this is Tim, and today I'm going to be talking about another Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition clerical domain, and today's domain is going to be that of Suffering. For the spells for this, for first level, you're going to get Bane and Inflict Wounds. At third level, you're going to get Flaming Sphere and Ray of Enfeeblement. Enfeeblement, that's hard to say. <laughs> At fifth level, you're going to get Bestow Curse and Vampiric Touch. At seventh level, you're going to get Blight and Contagion. At ninth level, you're going to get Commune, but there's some sort of level of pain needed to, uh, you know, inflict it upon yourself to, to have that spell work. And you're also going to, get, going to get Eye Bite, which is actually a sixth level spell, but it seemed like it was kind of appropriate for this uh, this domain in general. I guess I should note too that just because the domain says suffering doesn't mean that this has to have a sort of negative connotation to it or even evil connotation to it. You know, you'd have a uh, perhaps a good deity of suffering that is there for you in the times and trials of your life, the things that you're going through, and, you know, the god understands suffering and therefore understands you. So that's just another thing to think about if you're going to have a, a deity that has this domain. As for the special abilities that you're going to get, at first level you're going to get a bonus cantrip of Chill Touch. Also at first level you're going to gain the proficiency with Constitution Saving Throws. At second level, you get Channel Divinity, and it's titled Pain is a Blessing. You choose a creature, and if it fails a constitution saving throw, it is filled with intense pain. They have disadvantage on all rolls for a number of minutes equal to your cleric level. All right, here's where the domain starts to take a little bit of a different turn. <laughs> At sixth level, you're going to get an ability entitled My Pain is Your Pain. By intentionally harming yourself with a weapon or a spell, a target of up to 30 feet away takes the exact same damage in the exact same location. If they make a constitution saving throw, they take half of this damage. So you could nickname this the Cutter uh, uh, Domain for Clerics. At 8th level, it gets even a little bit more disturbing. You got an ability called Link of Dismemberment. And, uh, you know, the God of Suffering, I'm guessing, it probably likes when its servants are in pain and, uh, you know, being having a part dismembered, I think, would probably please that deity. So, uh, you target a humanoid creature with roughly the same parts as a human, so it has to have arms, legs, a head, and if it fails a constitution saving throw, both of your bodies become spiritually linked for one minute. During that time, if you remove or tear out or cut off a body part, the exact same thing happens to the linked creature. As long as you can see the target creature, the range does not matter. Parts that you remove from yourself, as long as you still possess them, will return or reattach or will go back to their original location after a long rest. While you are missing parts, you have disadvantage on all rolls from the intense pain. If a character would, res would uh, like remove their own head, they would obviously die. <laughs> I don't know how you would make yourself cut your own head off, but uh, let's just say that that happens. Or you have another party member you know, whack your head off. If the target fails all of their death saving throws, um, you know, their head will be removed, it'll be rolling across the street. So they have to, you know, fail those saving throws. So the idea here is that let's say that somebody's holding a, you know, a powerful artifact, an NPC, you cut your hand off, the, you know, the artifact falls down with the, the hand. Um, you know, this sort of is going to take a little bit of uh, probably tweaking by a GM, or, you know, some might consider this too powerful, like some of my other domains as well. But I sort of like the idea of a cleric uh, just butchering their own body and having some sort of physical result manifest in a target, you know, that's pretty, pretty close to them. But uh, yeah, hacking off your own body parts for, for wealth and fame and <laughs> probably a charisma uh, drop, depending on, you know, what parts you cut off or, uh, you know, how you want to, <laughs> how you want to work that out. Um, at 17th level, you're going to get resistant to pain. When you use the My Pain is Your Pain ability, your targets take twice as much damage as you do. When you use the Link of Dismemberment ability, your removed parts will return to their original locations, once again, if you still possess them, after a short rest instead of a long rest. So your body parts get used to being <laughs> removed and they can come back and you know form your normal self without too much of a problem. But yeah, this is my... Uh, I was trying to think of suffering. You know, what what would a Claire of suffering be like? And I was thinking of Keith Hershey Jr.'s character, uh, who played briefly in a Lamentations of Flame Princess game of mine. And uh, we sort of bounced ideas back and forth. And we 
came up with this idea that you know he filleted his own skin and burned it for um, you know material components for spells, and he you know brushed people's uh, foreheads with his ashes and things like that. So that was sort of the idea that I had in mind, uh, you know, sort of a self destructive cleric that could you know use that pain to some sort of tactical advantage in combat so but yeah a god of suffering i'm sure it was uh, you know could be quite disturbing but again keep an open mind here i'm i'm sure maybe a god of suffering has some some beneficial qualities as well um, but yeah i'll talk to you guys later with some more clerical domains